This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get TCGO code cards. They already have Darkness Ablaze up on stock, so definitely check out the website and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. They have a huge variety of code cards, so you'll definitely find something you like. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. If you're from Europe, you're obligated to check out this website. You can purchase cards on here as well as sell your own cards to people all across Europe. And uh, they have huge uh, bargain sales right here as well as best sellers. And you can even uh, purchase physical cards uh, for instance, booster boxes of the new set. So definitely check it out. Uh, my Both of my sponsors, BoatTownStore.com as well as CardMarket.com. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're gonna be playing with Hydreigon Darkbox. Darkbox is a deck that everybody uh, was wanting to work ever since Worlds, if it makes sense. So everybody wants to try this out with of course the Umbreon and Darkrai tag team GX, the uh, uh, Sableye, Mega Sableye and Tarantar tag team GX. But it never really worked out. We did get, uh, I think there was one uh, United States player that actually made it work and got top 16 at Worlds. But other than that, it hasn't seen a lot of success. But uh, now we do have energy acceleration for darkness types with Dark Squall of the Hydreigon. We can accelerate uh, darkness types energy as often as we like. So if we get 6 energies onto the Umbreon and Dark Rye, we can one hit KO anything in the game. Dark Moon Jax is that powerful. Black Lands also slaps 150 and then 60 to one of the opponent's bench Pokemon. People are still playing the Dane, that is awesome. And uh, that also means we can uh, make use of the Greedy Crush. If we knock out a GX, we can take an additional prize card. So that could help out if we're running like bosses orders on something like the Dane. Knock it out with Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. We get three prize cards for that, which is awesome. We have Crown Rent thrown in here as well because the Darkness Acceleration is not limited to only Darkness Pokemon. So you can uh, Crown Rent Snipe as well in certain scenarios. And we also have the Guzzlord here taking additional prize cards. And this is very good against things like Baby Blount. You get like uh, lots of prize cards on uh, yeah, GX Pokemon with the Greedy Crush things like Orokorio and Dedane, but you also have uh, a way to just uh, dish out uh, the uh, red bank and then take an additional prize card with that as well. Uh, you also have Dark Pulse, which is able to uh, stack to a huge amount of damage. The more energies are in play, the more damage we dish out. So at one point, if we get 10 energies in play, it's going to be ridiculously the 100, 330 damage. If we're able to do that, we do have uh, energy retrieval as well as the Ordinary Rod in here to get back our energy. So it's going to be fantastic to try this out. Even with Viridian Forest, finding the energies is not a problem. The only thing we need is like the Hey Dragon in play and uh, we're good to go. Also, Pierce is in here. I found it to be like Pierce finding either a Crobat or a Hey Dragon is very nice uh, in certain scenarios because afterwards you can still use the Dene. So we're gonna see if Dark Box has what it takes to get a, a couple of W's here. So hopefully you guys are excited for Dark Box to pop up. If you are, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button because you know I always appreciate that and it does help out the channel more than you would possibly think. So uh, Hey Dragon Dark Box, I wonder if it'll be okay. The good news is you have lots of ways you can take prize cards with Greedy Crush, you can attack with Red Banquet, let's say you smack into like a VMAX and then you uh, want knock it out with the uh, Guzzlord, then you actually take four prize cards, then you Cremorant for the last two prize cards, it's gonna be fantastic to try this out. We're up against an opponent having, of course, the Ante coin, uh, very, very nice. Uh, we lost the coin flip, which is sad, we actually want to go, f yeah, we can go first, that's nice. Thank you very much. And starting with the Dene is ridiculously bad, but the good news is we do have things like Quick Ball. So we can maybe use Great Ball, finding a Dino, that's the only thing we need at the a point like... Okay, it's a Fire deck. With some... Uh, they actually had that Dark uh, Signal right there. The good news is uh, the Guzzlord also can take uh, two prize cards on something like a Volcanion. They also have 120 HP. So I do love the, the uh, position that Guzzlord has in a deck like this. Okay, already two energies is fine. And they start with Eldigo, so I do love that fact. Okay, uh, first things first, uh, Great Ball, see what we have. We have a Dino immediately, so the Great Balls are in here just to find our early game Dinos. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to go for a Quick Ball. Do we get rid of... Uh, yeah, Ordinary Rod can actually shuffle these back, but uh, I think I will... Ah, uh, yeah. I think I will do it, though. I think we only are going to attack a Volcanion uh, once. We can get the Crobat, and maybe get not another Dino, or, or already get, like, energies onto the Embryon and Darkrai Tag Team GX. Could be nice, right? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna get this one. 
I wonder if he has like, he cannot use uh, Welder and Boss Doors in the same turn, so we are fine on that department. I'm actually going to, we do have energy retrieval, so I'm going to get rid of one energy and get in ourselves the Umbreon and Darkrai Tag Team Jax, that is our main fella here. We're going to smack it down, energy over here, and then here comes the Crobat for a couple of cards, four cards in general. Okay, we have Great Ball again, we're gonna use Great Ball, see what we have. We have the Hydreigon, so uh, next turn we're gonna have a second turn Hydreigon, and we still have access to another Crobat. I don't know if we should slap down another Dino, don't think so. He could go after our Hydreigon, by the way. So maybe having two of them is awesome. This guy also slaps uh, a significant amount of damage, 130 to be honest, so... This is a nice setup. The thing we can do is like, uh, we don't need extra space because uh, we are gonna probably use Hydreigon, uh, this one, to accelerate energies to the Embryo and Darkrai. And we can use Dark Moon GX if we have five additional energies. We actually uh, one hit KO anything in our path. And that's going to be, yeah, even there's Rush's Art, it's fine. We just need to get as many energies onto this uh, Umbreon Darkrai immediately. He can go for like Wilder and go for the Double Blaze instantly. But if we get multiple energies, we should be okay. Maybe we get uh, a research. He gets energies. Probably gonna see Welder here. Quick Ball as well. Ooh, the Giant Bomb goes away. Giant Bomb does not activate with the Dark Moon Jacks. And after Dark Moon Jacks, the opponent is not able to play down any trainer. So that's no Welders, no item cards, no stadiums whatsoever. So that is awesome. And also, this Giant Heart will allow us to just uh, empty our hand so we can get ourselves rolling uh, with the Crobat V. You might wonder playing to the Dennis is better, but this is fine as it is. So Heatran GX, also very menacing because Heatran with, of course, enough energies can't get rid of our Umbreon Darkrai GX. Okay. The good news is we will immediately get a Hydreigon out. The bad news is... Yeah. <laughs> Rare candy. Here we go. Hydreigon is number one. He's probably gonna go for the double blaze, right? Which is something we don't want. There's already bosses orders in his discard pile. I wonder if he's gonna get another bosses orders or not. We can also sacrifice one of our little dinos. And I wonder if we can get out of the active position. We do have hiding darkness energy. Yeah, I think I will just go with dark squall and get one energy onto the Umbreon and dark right. We can do that as often as we like. So for now, Marnie to a low hand size. Ooh, there is a ton of energies right here. Hiding Darkness energy would have been awesome. Yeah, if he attacks with this, we can attack with that. So, that's fine. Yeah, let's use this. Viridian Forest. Getting an energy. Hiding Darkness energy right here. Viridian Forest. I wonder if he's going to attack with... He's probably going to attack with that Heatran, by the way. And use that GX move instead, but we do have a boss's order. Ah, uh, yeah, interesting. Interestingly enough, I actually want another energy, and also I want the boss's order. So, uh, if we draw into energy retrieval, that would be awesome. We still have energies in here, which should be okay. And I wonder, he cannot uh, welder and boss's orders at the same turn, anyhow. So, we're gonna go with this scenario. One energy over there. And we're actually going to wait it out with that energy. We could attach to the Dene and then retreat. But giving up this Dene is not the biggest issue in the world. We just need another energy, right? Right. Just passing it out. And uh, we'll see what we bring right here. I could attach and then retreat to Dino. And uh, have to let him force him to attack us. But he still needs to like Welder switch to Heatran. And then he's going to lose all of its energies if we use the Dark Moon GX. So that's awesome. Darkrai is being prepared here. Could have also attached and used Dark Moon so he couldn't play any item cards and then we could have attacked, but that's not the way I want to go about this. All of his energies are on his Charizard for now. We do have Axe to Viridian Forest and we have an attachment of the turn. He still doesn't know that we have another energy in hand. So if he gets rid of Viridian Forest, that would be bad. That would be very bad, to be honest. I, I want him knocking out Ardadani. I don't know how many giant hearts he's playing. Okay, they just pass it out. That is very, very interesting. Yeah, we can use Dark Moon. Knock out the Zelda goes and he's not able to play down any cards. Hmm, what to do? Or 160 again. I don't want him getting the knockout here. I want to actually knock this guy out. Yeah. 
Attachment over here. Yeah, next turn we do get it. Yeah, next turn we of course get it. So we're just setting up on the bench. He could welder onto his Charizard, but he cannot welder as well as play a boss Azores at the same turn. I want my boss Azores going down on that Charizard. Okay, he's just attaching and just retreat to your Charizard and that will be good. Okay, he retreats to his Heatran. Heatran takes all of the energies and we're actually going to knock out this Heatran and he will be in a position where he's not able to play down any uh, trainer cards. So yeah, unfortunately he goes on the offensive. Steaming Stump. <laughs> we, we still survive by the way. Okay, this is fantastic. So now uh, in a situation like this, we have enough energies as it takes. We can one hit KO this guy. Or we can one hit KO that guy. He still has access to his Jax move, so probably gonna have to. Yeah, the Viridian Forest could be awesome getting that the Danny out of the active position, by the way. We still don't know if it's gonna be necessary, but our Dedanny survives, which is uh, more than I would uh, thought that it was happening. So we get a lot of cards. Hiding Darkness Energy as well. Okay. Okay, we retreat to this fella. We can use communication. We still have access to Kremorant as well. Kremorant can take huge KOs. Quick ball for the Guzzlord. The Guzzlord is also a nice way you can uh, take additional prize cards. Yeah, our hand is pretty good. I actually don't need any of these fellas, so I'm not gonna do anything. Just gonna go for Dark Moon GX. And yeah, this guy is knocked out. He's item locked, a uh, trainer locked as well. So that is very awesome. We have a research. He cannot reset stamp us. He cannot Marnie us. We have access to Pierce, uh, Viridian Forest as well. So maybe we can get uh, some retrievals. Retrievals would be awesome. And uh, uh, this Greninja and Zorok also is dishing out a huge amount of damage right now. Six energies in total. That is uh, 210 damage. So if you get two more energies onto this guy and have a boss disorder, that will be awesome. So maybe getting an Eldigo is thrown in here. It's also not a bad idea. This guy is dishing out a huge amount of damage. This guy still needs to like Welder, but on this turn he cannot Welder. So he's just gonna stack up some cards, use Jirachi and just be done with it. I would prefer getting our uh, little Banquet fella. We do have the Hiding Darkness Energy so we can retreat to whatever we please. Okay, we can knock this guy out and then boss Zord is that one instead. Interesting development indeed. Oh, Cremorant is also an option by the way. Cremorant, Hiding Darkness Energy, as long as it's the... Okay. Interesting. We can set up the Cremorant, one shot at the Dene. That is an option. Very much an option. We can uh, save this Cremorant. Get <laughs> this guy is also very funny. That means we can take two prize cards on a Jirachi if we find enough energies. Two prize cards on a Jirachi or using the Cremorant. Do we have boss's orders in here? Yeah, we still have boss's orders in here. Yeah, Cremorant is easier because we only need three energies. A retrieval and we still have access to Viridian Forest as well. Okay. I will take nothing. Just saving this fella. Slapping down the Cremorant. Uh, next up, we can get another energy with Pierce. So Pierce could get us some cards. Not that we need that. Communication. I'm going to actually uh, put up a card here that we don't need anymore. For instance, this Dino that we can discard later. Then Viridian Forest can wait. Although I'm going to use it right now. <laughs> We're going to get rid of the Dino. I'm going to get uh, one energy. And we definitely need just one retrieval, right? That's all we need. Dark Skulk. There we go. Ta-ta. Next up. We are going to go with Quick Ball again. Getting rid of this. Ta -ta -ta -da. Yeah, what else do we do not need? Uh, this uh, <laughs> Mega Save Black could actually be a game sa saver as well. Yeah, we already attach here. Might as well attach to somebody else. Maybe a Hydreigon. Otherwise, we lose the energy, right? Sure. Research time. Bam. Okay, the Black Market Prism Star popping up and even a rare candy for the other Hydreigon. Look at this deck go! Fantastic! We don't have enough energies to attack with our Cramorant, unfortunately, but we do have other means necessary. And at this point, I'm gladly setting up 
are black market so he doesn't take additional prize cards and the black lands will prepare ourselves for uh, an easy way uh, we do snap 160 over here so i think i will go after the charizard charizard could go for outrage but that does not hit us with enough damage as it is Okay, three prize cards. The only thing we need to do is one-shot this Reshizard. I don't know if he's playing Melolama or Hyper Potions or whatever, but uh, having this guy in a, in a trainer lock would, was very awesome indeed. And we still have access to two energy retrievals. And Boss's Order is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I think we do have a good uh, chance of winning here. We only, need, we only need three prize cards and that Dark Moon Jax is just so busted. Scoop out net. Okay, he's just putting ourselves to a low damage output. He can, of course, use Flare Strike if he finds the Welder, but then his uh, fella is open right there. And if we have Crown Run, we can finish the job. Okay, another Dedenne pops up. So even if we like, uh, we do already have Boss Zoras in hand, so we can Boss Zoras to Dedenne and uh, soften up the damage on the uh, Charizard as well, putting in that uh, 120 damage. So he has 150 remaining. So Crown Run is in shot of like one shotting everything. Very, very awesome. Scoop up that Zigzagoon again. How many scoop ups did he play? Three. That's three damage counters with Flare Strike. It's 260. Ooh. Maybe he's whiffing one scoop up. That means he would he has to play like all of his scoop ups right now. He did play the Welder, so he has like four energies. Maybe he's one damage counter short, even though the black market is in play, so that means he only gets two prize cards for the stack team. And we can like smack with the Hydreigon as well for uh, a little bit of damage and then finish the job with Spit Shot. It's looking pretty good. I wonder if we should have attacked with Guzzlord. We would have not gotten the energies in time, so it's okay. I did manage to get our Ordinary Rot in the discard pile, so a little bit tricky to say the least. Although we also have Bossaurus and we can also use Mega Sabler and Tyranitar if we find our one energy. Okay, they just concede! Dark Box OP! Yeah, I love playing with this deck so much. It works out. The Dark Moon was so busted. Ladies and gentlemen, try out this deck for yourself. You'd be amazed of how good Dark Box can be. Okay, one more game with Dark Box 2.0 or 3.0, depending on the, whenever you just started to play this. We've uh, played it with like Hoopa uh, GX, we played it with uh, the Red and Blue Engine with Weaval GX, we played it with Naganadel, accelerating energies back in the days of Lost Thunder. But now it's time for just simple Hydreigon Stage 2 Energy Acceleration. We're up against Mewtwo, presumably. Mewtwo is a pretty good matchup, we have resistance to Psychic, and not only that, uh, if we are able to use Dark Moon, they are just one-shotted, and they don't have a response immediately, and uh, seeing as they don't have Turbo Strike anymore, that's awesome. He could also be playing something else, we'll see. Opponent starts first, unfortunately, they already know what we're playing, we have Black Market in hand and 3 Research. This would have been a bad hand, um, to be honest. Okay, give us a Dino, yeah, there we go, Dino instantly. As well as a Cremorant. Yeah, I don't like starting with Cremorant to be honest. That's a two prizer. We do have energy retrieval, so we can get him out of the active position if need be. Oh, Apple, Apple in? Is this Sableye? Sableye with Apple in? With Turbo Patch. Also, a deck we explored briefly before Turbo Patch got released. So, Sableye pops up energy immediately so the Sableye can take down anything which is a very scary part we can use Pierce find an energy attach retreat interestingly enough the Kremlin V will not do the trick right here mmm research instantly or Pierce Pierce can get us a Crobat not what we want this is actually not what we want and at all I'm gonna attach here and uh, I, we do have ordinary rod, so I'm just gonna go with research. I know we're getting up like so many supporters, but look at this. Okay, black market is also, is also helping him, so that's not what we're gonna do. We can use the Dene or use Crobat. Maybe both. Why not both? I know, right? Uh, the Dene and Crobat. Sure. I'm a fan of the Dene with Crobat. And we're also gonna slap down the Black Market. We can overlap it with Viridian when it comes to our turn. The Dene again. Slapping this down. Crobat time. Another Dino. <laughs> Two of these Hydreigons. Funky enough. 
attachment over here. Yeah, the Dene. <laughs> We're just dig digging deeply into the deck to find resources. Okay, here's a Great Ball, even a Communication. So this is actually a very good hand. We could use Ram for 10 damage. Okay, we still have another Crobat left, so this is pretty okay. I wonder if he's gonna use Marnie. He's probably not playing Marnie in the slightest, so we're gonna go with Great Ball instead. Getting a Zoroark and Greninja. We can use Communication and get a Crobat and get other resources. So we do have access to another Hydreigon. I wonder if he's gonna go with uh, Marnie. I don't think so. This These decks typically do not play that. Mm, yeah, this is pretty okay. Yeah, just go for Ram. If he knocks us out, he doesn't take a prize card. So whatever this Sableye does, we are gonna be one step ahead and just try to go for crazy damage. I put Applin is gonna put damage onto our Umbran and Darkrai, presumably. Energy Spinner. Get another energy. I wonder if he has a supporter or not. We have Rare Candy for our Dino on the bench. Apple Drop is gonna go onto our tag team. Oh, just onto our Dino here. Yeah, he wants to knock out the Dino, take zero prize cards for that. Okay, he does play Marnie. We would have gotten Hydreigon now, but uh, what deck plays Marnie? Like, this is very inconsistent with your Flapples. I think you would be playing like other supporters, like Research over that. Yeah, he does take zero prize cards, so at least we have that going for us. Crazy Claws, he takes zero prize cards. What to do? Yeah, if he gets Flapples, he takes a huge amount of KOs. Yeah, maybe we can Dark Moon him early on. Ah, this is ridiculously bad. Viridian Forest. This guy does do 210 damage. We do have a huge amount of HP, but this is a very bad matchup to say the least. Dark Pools is an easy way to get a huge KO. <laughs> Let's use Viridian Forest. Finding an energy. Go for the Dark Moon and go from there. Maybe we top deck a Research. He could use Loot Search. Or he can use 10 damage. Unless he has Flapples in hand. Which I doubt. We should be okay. And it's just, yeah, Crazy Claws for 10 damage. Now we just need to top deck something. Come on. Okay, research, fine. Uh, I wonder if this, yeah, 210. How many energies here? Let's say this guy has 170. We slap 30 damage if we get five energies in total onto all of our Pokemon. Five is the KO. And this guy also five is the KO. So this guy has more HP. So let's go with that. Research. Yeah, research time. Come on, resources. Mm hmm. This is not helping us out. Attachment over here. Viridian Forest. Getting rid of this. Another energy. Do we need another energy? Probably not. I'm gonna go with Crobat. Come on, we need to draw like a rare candy and the Heydragon. Oof. Well, that does help. Hey Dragon finally shows its face. Maybe we can survive for a turn. Get that high darkness energy equipped it. Get out of the active. If he has two flapples, that would be sad. Dark squirrel. There we go. And ending the turn. Okay, this is a scary matchup. I cannot promise you guys that we will win against Dar uh, the Sableye Flapple deck. Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Okay, he gets rid of the Viridian Forest. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to find energy retrieval very quickly. Quick ball. Will we see the Dene? Will we see Crobat? Will we see another Sableye? He gets rid of Zacian though, so he does plan on attacking. And we were in a disadvantage here. <laughs> this is our only like Hadragon that is left. If we find uh, the Ordinary Rot as well as the energy retrieval, we should be okay. That Marnie early on was very annoying. Okay, now he can use the Applin. Okay, research. That's scary. Get rid of a boss's orders, though. Yeah, Sableye does have a good matchup against us. So <laughs> we already showcased that the Dark Box is capable of doing a couple of uh, neat things. If you can get out the Hadragon in time. We've already used our GX move. Unfortunately, here's the Apple Drop once. 
he will need to do it twice though in order to get the KO. Mm -hmm. Zigzagoon pings. Okay, he can just take the KO right here and just put the flapple damage onto this guy. It's going to be nasty. Okay, yeah, take down the tag. Yeah, he knows that he just needs to sh uh, knock out the tag teams. He knows. Yeah, Sableye on the offensive. He takes three prize cards for that. Insane. And we do not have uh, Marnie in hand. Otherwise, Marnie him to a low hand size would have also been a win con. Okay, all these guys, irrelevant. Research time. A retrieval on an energy is good. Or just everything that we want. Sure, one. Two. Three. And I really want to set up like a Guzzlord at this point. Knocking out one of these weak feller HP Pokemon. Energy retrieval. I don't want to use energy retrieval before research, but we can have other means necessary. So greedy crush, gotcha. <laughs> we do get some prize cards here, so. But if our uh, Sableye goes down, Mega Sable or Enter Enter goes down, we will be uh, in a, such a bad situation. Okay, we do have Ordinary Rod. That means we can shuffle back stuff like uh, Zorak and Greninja. No Cramorant. Yeah, these guys have 170, so it's a little bit tricky. Even if we get out Cramorant, we can start attacking with a Crobat and knock, uh, knock this guy out. I wonder if he has Boss's Orders or not. We do have Marnie, so that... Ooh, Turbo Patch working out! Turbo patch working out. Okay. Wonder if he has some scoop up nets as well. Definitely have to Marnie next turn. U turn boards on this guy. He's gonna use the flapple, putting in a saddle of 40. Is that enough? I think so. I think so. 60, 120, 240. Yeah, that's enough. If he uses the flapple, he wins. You have a good deck. Yeah, that Sableye Flapple shenanigans definitely got the better hand of him. We're playing tag team, so there was no way we could have uh, done something about this. So this Turbo Patch, if it was fit, if if it failed, we could have get, gotten an edge. Uh, but now we just get knocked out because we're playing a big amount of tag teams. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. I'm gonna give you <laughs> a code card from Card Market as well, so it is floating above my head right now. For the European players, it's from our sponsor, uh, CardMarket.com, and uh, there you can get uh, if you uh, pr um, get this coupon code, you get five euros, and you can start uh, yeah buying some cards on Card Market. This is uh, the platform I use personally every day, so definitely do so. And this is only for European players. If you are a, a player from the US. Uh, the only thing I can recommend is like a TCGO code card from PoTownStore.com. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video very shortly. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything Pokemon TCG related. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.